Hello, everyone. This is Fabian Stolle speaking from Sweden. I believe there are a lot of people in this webinar who have been opposing TS laws in different places in the United States and elsewhere. I would like to express my gratitude for your persistent work against legalization in your state of deceptive and dangerous TS laws, Ola, Oregon. Wherever such laws are defeated, it is a victory for the rest of the world also. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, of myself. I have a degree in science and I'm a retired mechanical designer, designer and I'm a fellow at the Clapham Institute, a Swedish think tank. I started to work against legalization of PS year 2016 when the Swedish advocates increased their efforts to move their agenda forward. The Swedish, Swedish proponents are nowadays promoting the Oregon assisted suicide model. Why? Why the Oregon model? Well, what they say, they explain to us in Sweden that um, the Oregon practices uh, are protected by strict safeguards which only allow people with an uninsurable and irreversible illness that will, within reasonable medical judgment, result in death within six months. They assure us that it is a robust, well-proven, well-researched system that does not show any vulnerability to the development of a slippery slope. But um, so the, the advocates avoid promoting more radical bills model of the Benelux countries. But what they think is that it's more likely to reach a sector acceptance with a law that looks restricted. And um, but the Oregon model is a step-in model, as we say in Sweden. It means it is an entry-level model aimed to sell in the concept of killing and then expand it to more radical models. And their sales pitch is that it is only... Sorry, here we are. Here we go. It's only for patients who are, ac are accepted to die within six months. Patients that are dying. It's only for terminal ill people who suffer on their deathbed. It's only people with incurable diseases. It's only for patients who have no more hope, a last resort for extreme cases. Only. And then they continue. We can't leave people tormented on their deathbed. Our compassion and empathy commands us to end the life, sorry, assist them in their dying. And so their rhetorical battering ram is hammering away. These only lies are now, now unveiled through my correspondence with Oregon Health Authority. In a series of questions and answers with Mr. Craig New, research analyst of, at Oregon Health Authority, it is now officially confirmed what many of you have suspected, that people who have curable or chronic diseases can get the doctor's help to end their life. And my question to, uh, to confirm this to um, uh, Craig New, I have it here. In the law, terminal disease is defined as an incurable and, and irreversible disease that has been medically confirmed and will, within reasonable medical judgment, produce death within six months. And my question was, is this rule interpreted as without administration of life-sustaining treatment. And the answer I got from Mr. New comes here. Your additional question, for your additional question, your interpretation is correct. The question is, should the disease be allowed to take its course absent further treatment? Is the patient likely to die within six months? Catherine mentioned this in her presentation. 
but I, co I continue to ask some questions. But before that, I have a, some comments to this. And it comes here. Thus, all diseases that without treatment are expected to lead to death within six months are considered to be incurable and therefore qualify for assisted suicide. And this is a totally different to the normal interpretation of incurable, which means incurable in the obvious sense that the disease cannot be cured. And hence, a far larger group of patients qualify for assisted suicide than the extreme cases for which the laws look the law was originally said to apply and this interpretation of incurable has profound consequences it is the combination of the twisted interpretation of incurable and the patient's right to refrain from medical treatment that will result in a trap door for suicidal patients. My next question, in order to get this confirmed, I'll ask next two questions to Mr. New at Oregon Health Authority. If the doctor suggested an eligible patient to treatment that possibly could prolong the life or transform the terminal illness to chronic illness or even cure from the disease,